welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share how I package my lip sense orders. So it's going to be quite quick but I think it's important to mention that as an independent distributor this is your business. This, The people who buy from you buy from you because they want you. So although I'm going to show you some ideas and how I package it, um, I wouldn't want you to copy it because I think it's a really individual preference on how you do it and how personalised you want to make it. So without further ado, I'll show you how I package it. So to start with, I use these little um, sort of jewellery bags and they're the perfect size for lip scents. For first time customers you have to sell the starter kit and it just so happens that these three fit perfectly in this bag so I put, oh, <laughs> so I put those three in there. And then I add my business card, which you've already seen, but I put my business card in the gift bag so that the order's in there. And then I just personally like to put a little bow, just so that everything stays nice and compact um, and like nothing comes apart. So once I've done that, I then use a um, bubble envelope. You can see inside it's got the protective packaging so nothing will break. I put that in, so that goes right at the bottom, and then I like to write the address on a sticky note just because I can waste these because these are cheap, but these are quite expensive, so if I write on this and make a mistake, I can then get a new one and then just stick it on instead. So inside with the packet, with the little gift tote bag, I put my tips and tricks card which you can see there, and then I put a how I apply, how to apply lip sense. Um, I don't know if I've decided if I want to separate them, but I think it's quite nice to have a little booklet, so I've just kept them attached and use it as the. And then I include the invoice. This is what my invoices look like. I just use PayPal. Um, obviously, I've got rid of the address because I don't want my customers' details to be shared. But so they have the billing address, the send address. Um, the invoice number and then what they've ordered with the colours and at the bottom I just put a little note just saying um, thank you so much for your order, um, I hope you enjoy them and if you um, have any questions don't hesitate to reach out and then I put my details there just so that it's all in one place and the final thing I put in my packages is um, a little card just saying thank you so much so um, I don't think I'll be using these cards in the future because they are very expensive and they're quite heavy which of course adds to the weight of your package um, but I got these for Paper Chase because I thought they fit my colour scheme. So it's gold. I don't know if you can see that. So it's just gold. Um, just a little letter. And I just wrote, write it personalised. A personalised hand message. Dear, and then the customer's name. Thank you so much for ordering. Um, and then just thank you for the business. And a little personal message. So depending on what they've told me and whatnot. And all that fits perfectly. Um, I'll put it in the envelope so you can see. And I fold it over, obviously seal it, and then put that on the front. So, yes, that's how I package and send off my orders. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it, hope it was useful. If um, you have any questions, um, don't hesitate to ask me below or any of my social medias or my email address, which are all linked below. And I'll also put the um, links to where I got these products. I use Amazon to do everything because I have Prime and it's next day delivery, so it's perfect for me. But if you're in America or outside of the UK, um, I'm sure you'll find similar, but I'll put in the UK links below. I would just add that one thing I think is important to remember is that this is a business and um, customers want to see con continuity. So I do think it's important to keep the um, your logo and um, packaging quite consistent. So if you can tell, my business card has is pink and has lips on. My tips and tricks has is pink and has tips on. And my thank you card has gold writing on, but my next ones are pink with gold lips on. So yeah. That's just a little tip from me. So thank you so much for watching this video. I'll speak to you next time. Bye. Oh, I've got an itchy nose. <laughs>